Okay guys, today I'm going to be doing a tier list on the Pokemon games. And yes, I only mean the main series games, I guess. So, anyhow, let's not waste any time. And let's get straight into it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in chronological order. So, basically, release orders. Okay, the first one is red and blue. And... I'm going to put these at B tier. And the reason why is because they're, I mean, they started the franchise, but eh, it's more of a nostalgia factor, honestly, at this point that keeps these, you know, games going. Yellow. Yellow came out at the same time as Crystal, I believe. So let's do silver and gold, the OG ones. I'm going to put these at A tier. Silver and Gold. Great games, but the remakes, you know where that's going. Silver and Gold. What a great game. Not only is it nostalgic, but they also added in the Cancel region as well. So as two regions in one game, that's more than plenty. Crystal, I'll be honest, I didn't find much of anything like in terms of differences between crystal silver and gold besides you know you're getting uh suicune a bit early so i know this won't be biased but i'm going to leave this at eight these three at eight here and then in comes pokemon yellow i'll put yellow at eight tier, or maybe i'll put it at s tier i'm gonna put it at s tier because i think it was the first pokemon game where you can actually see your Pokemon's, you know, reaction or feelings, which is Pikachu's. So I'm going to put Pokemon Yellow at, at uh, S tier for now. Ruby and Sapphire was next. I'm going to put these at B tier. Should I put these at B tier? Okay, a lot of these might be either B or C tiers, just to let you know that. I think Ruby and Sapphire, it, it is a huge upgrade in terms of, uh, what you call it, the graphics, but it's not as good as silver or gold in my opinion. So I'll leave that as is. And then I believe Fire Red and Leaf Green, hmm, is it A tier though? No. Okay, let's put, I'm gonna, okay, C is bare basics, so I'm gonna put Red and Blue as C tier. And then leaf green on B tier. Leaf green and fire red. Okay, that's okay. This is much more fair in my opinion. Yeah. And the emerald's S tier. That's a solid fact. So emerald is one of a kind in my opinion. Should I move Ruby and Sapphire down? Because of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? Might as well. Okay. We'll consider. Okay. Okay. We will consider. C tier to be basic. Not bad, but not too good either. I think that way it'd be more fair. And after Ruby and Sapphire, Fire Red Leaf Green, and Emerald, I believe was Diamond of Pearl. I actually like Diamond of Pearl. Put these A tier though. That's a bit high actually. Gen 4 is good though, but. No, I can't. I'm going to put this at B tier for now, guys. Diamond and Pearl is B tier. But Platinum is S tier, though. Platinum is the full experience. You know, I kind of miss when Pokemon released, you know, the third game of the series. Like, you know, Platinum, Emerald, and Yellow. I wish they will do that again, but I don't think that will ever happen again. But goddamn, Platinum is beautiful it's so complete anyhow around this time soul silver heart gold heart gold and soul silver both of these are s tier god damn okay heart gold and soul silver this is a kiss on the face man like i can play these two games again and never get bored because like i said two regions more pokemon and such an amazing upgrade from the original. And I love the Kimono Girl soundtrack or whatnot. 
the kimono girls when they do the summoning dance to summon lugia or ho-oh that man that oc is nice yeah this is s tier now on to black and white yep i'm uh that's a bit biased but okay i'm not gonna lie i think black and white i think people shit on that game too much man black and white is such a good game i love almost everything about black and white and i know some of the pokemon such as garbodor and whatnot looks kind of eh but the story the characters and the region it's one of a kind I mean, you can make that argument for pretty much, you know, every Pokemon game, but Black and White is truly one of a kind in my opinion. Now, Black and White 2, though, that's S tier. You, I would die on that hill. Such underrated games, man. Oh my god, people. Why, why did, I feel bad that Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2 wasn't really received as well, but... I believe they deserve more credit. They pushed the Nintendo DS like to the maximum in terms of graphics. I mean, for a handheld game, dude. Oh my gosh, I, you will not change my mind on this. I'm dying on that hill. Black and white was severely hated for no reason besides nitpicking. Awesome game. much better okay Oof, i feel better now okay omega ruby and alpha sapphire nah, they were okay games in my opinion i i'm not even gonna lie i did enjoy omega ruby and alpha sapphire but for some reason it doesn't it doesn't feel as strong as the entry series compared to like well not entry series but in comparison to the rest of the series up here i don't think they will compare in my opinion so i'm gonna leave these at b tier they were pretty good, but they weren't like great by any means in my opinion. Okay, what's next? Oh wait, I skipped X and Y. Oh my goodness. X and Y, I'm gonna put those at C tier. I'll be honest, I thought X and Y was a decent game because, you know, they improved the gra like the graphic jump from uh what you call it? black and white 2 to x and y the graphics man that was a huge change but i wasn't a big fan of x and y i think the game is kind of easy or is it just me who thinks that and not to mention i wasn't i don't hate it but i, don't, I didn't really see anything that really you know took me away by like surprise or anything so i wouldn't really say it's uh underwhelming but it's more of mediocre so they're gonna stay at c tier sun and moon I think Sun and Moon is underwhelming. Like, I'm not big on flex. I, I really do think it's an underwhelming game. I will. <sighs> Maybe I'll put these at F tier. I don't know. They're no. I'm gonna leave these at D tier. I think the only saving grace of Pokemon Sun and Moon is the characters, Lily. Lily is a great character. I think she is the savior of Sun and Moon. It's kind of strange, but in terms of character development, Lily goes through some of the best character phases I've ever seen in Pokemon history. Like, I don't know, man. Yeah, but I'm going to leave these at D tier. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. God dang it. I'll be honest. I'm going to leave these four at d tier i'm not really a fan of ultra sun ultra moon as well because i feel like the only things they added was you know they added some awesome time traveling features and whatnot but i really do think that it is a bit underwhelming compared to you know the c tiers and i don't want to put these at c tier because i feel like it'll be too much credit to them and i know people are going to hate me for doing that but i'm sorry i i, I don't see sun and moon as a really strong entry you know level series of the pokemon franchise let's go even let's go pikachu uh, i'll put these at f tier oh uh, yeah i said it these games i mean let's go even and let's go pikachu in my opinion is very underwhelming 
the champion uh was it green or something i think it was green really weak rival and if anything i think these games are like easy compared to everything else up here so yeah these two are f tier and then that leaves sword and shield what are the negatives well number one there's no complete pokedex so it's limited number two they re they're basically reusing some of the old models and number three it feels kind of bare so in terms of the environment sometimes i'm gonna put these at d tier i i think the character designs such as nessa and you know bead and some of the character designs i think they're one of a kind and they do stick out but the story man the main storyline of pokemon is pretty bad for that game man for sword and shield it's uh oh man i really don't like it i do think the dynamax features and stuff is cool but is it better or worse than x and y honestly x and y and sword and shield i had the same feelings from these two i mean these four games okay i'm gonna put these at c tier at least okay guys so let's recap and let's switch these around if we need to we just start off from s tier and work our way down to f tier s tier Black and White 2, Pokemon Yellow, Emerald, Platinum, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver. Okay, I agree with this. These, in my opinion, are solid S. I would not move any of these down. A tier. Gold, Silver, Crystal, Black and White. Diamond and Pearls is almost as good as Black and White. And it's certainly... Okay, yeah, we're moving these up for certain. Okay. Oh, okay, that looks so much better now. Yes, these are A tier in my opinion. B tier, Leaf Green and Fire Red. Leaf Green and Fire Red, I wouldn't really put them at A tier to be fair, but I do like the orange islands or whatnot that they introduced, those islands. Hmm. I'm just going to leave these as this. We'll consider these two as B plus, close to A tier. C tier. Okay, this is the one we're going to need to clean up quite a bit. These four, man. X, Y, Sword, and Shield. I don't know where to put these. D tier, the Sun and Moon series. Okay, I'm going to leave that as is. And the F tier is Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu. Okay, that's fair to me. Every Pokemon game is enjoyable, though. I will admit that. But I'm going to be honest. I'm going to move these four to D tier. I think that's more fair. I don't know. But, God, why is it so hard to make this decision? It's just four Pokemon games. I genuinely do not enjoy X and Y and Sword and Shield as much as I thought I would. They're good games, though, but in terms of the rest, I'd rather play everything up here than these four here. I'm going to leave these as is for now. I think everyone's going to hate me for doing that, but I'm sorry. I mean... I'm gonna have to leave I'm gonna leave these four down here though. And then F tier. Okay, yeah. This is this is my final list. I'm just gonna leave this as is. Maybe I should move these up. Okay, something like this. This will be my list for now. Don't get me wrong, tier lists and opinions can change, so but for now this is it. S tier, we have black and white 2, yellow, emerald, platinum, heart gold, and soul silver. That's my S tier, and yes, I will not change my S tier. I'll leave this as this. A tier, gold, silver, crystal, black and white, diamond or pearl. I'll probably move crystal up, but I just don't see any significance of a difference, to be honest, with crystal, silver, and gold, so... That's why these three are A tier. B tier, Leaf Green, Fire Red, Alpha Sapphire, and Omega Ruby. There's a little bit of debate, but I'll leave this as this. And then C is Red, Blue, Ruby, and Sapphire, okay. D tier is X, Y, Sword, and Shield, which is uh, an interesting decision, along with the Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon. And the F tier is Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. I'll be honest, I do not think these two games are worth $60. It does not justify it at all. Sword and Shield was $60 too, right? I probably, uh, no. I'm gonna leave this as is. Okay, guys, this is my tier list for now. And yes, 
Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl was it? The newest games? I'll probably put them most likely on A tier as well if they're as original as you know the original Diamond and Pearl. I would not put this as S because I would not put them as S because Platinum stands above everything else. And yes, this is my Pokemon tier list. I'll leave a link on it down below in the description. And with that, I'm out. See ya.